Yeah! Rex Delta Gen 2L, ACSS Optic, good stuff. Guys, I got a triple review for you today. I am so excited. Sorry about the lighting, but you can see other pictures. I got the A-Rex Delta, my friend's A-Rex Delta Long L Gen 2. This thing, I've already done a primary review. This thing is awesome, four and a half inches, thinner, lighter than a G17, G17 MOS. Comes with five optics plates. I got the latest, hottest pistol reviewing it before all the big channels uh my buddy's pistol uh we did an initial review without the light and the optic and other magazines but today that's what we got with the pl2 we got the brand new 507c uh, version 2 with the acss reticle he actually managed to score the latest greatest acss reticle 507C at Lead and Steel. So check there. Check out that website, Lead and Steel. And always check at Primary Arms. They designed something absolutely amazing. So this is a triple review. With, look at an extended magazine here, uh, which was picked up. At, I believe he said he got it from Gun Mag Warehouse. So check this out. We're checking out the Mantis X Elite. We're checking all those out. And, uh, Holster wise guys, I sold them a holster for a different pistol that fits because it, it attaches to the PL2 and that's what I'm working from now. Maybe later I'll work from the Tolster old holster. I love the Tolster. It's a Glock 17 holster. All you needed to do, he said, was put like three or four spacers in it. So a couple extra spacers, even though it's a much thinner pistol, the trigger guard is a little bit different. So I might work from that if I remember. Great uh, holster is a Tolster holster and uh anyway guys i'm excited to bring you this review before all the big channels and the light holster is a cobra kydex that i'll be working from and uh he said he's also looking at getting mag extensions for this p10f magazine from taylor freelance all right let's check it out guys i've already done seven shots to see if i was on i'm totally new to optics this is at seven yards. I put three on top of each other. My first three shots on top of each other. The top of the chevron. Seven yards uh, to verify. Then these are my two shots from 15 yards and 15 yards. So I'm pretty dialed in and I'm brand new to optics. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff in case I forget. Make sure to check out all my other Airx reviews of the Alpha. Then my friends Delta. I got two friends that love Airx, and then uh, I, the initial review of this without the optic and the light on it. So we'll check recoil impulse and all that, and all that kind of stuff. Unboxing all that stuff. So look at all my other Delta reviews. Subscribe and all my martial arts, combatives, the street jujitsu DVD on BJJ fanatics and all that. Okay, seven yards. Uh, I'll go. Just slow it first. And uh, the, um, the, the top of the chevron is just flying up, and I'm, I'm not losing the chevron during recoil, so that's awesome. Well, pistol, optic, and shooter. Boy, the optic, may I'm new to optics, guys. I just put three in the spine at seven yards, so that's pretty good. That shows you what the chevron's capable of. Guys, if you see any of my other videos, I rock and roll. I do fast stuff. I'm going to try to do two targets today, transitions. We're going to do a hollow point function test, a Dutch buffet. We're going to do all kinds of stuff. We'll, we'll get on the Mantis in a minute and check our times and draw strokes. All right, I've played with the Mantis X dry fire before, but never live fire. 
Um, let's start off with three to the uh, chest. I already got three on the spine from earlier, seven yards. Now let's try a holster draw analysis, and we'll do some hostage taker stuff uh, later. So, here we go. Obviously, I'm not blazing speed right now, and this holster's a little slow because it's a light holster. And boy, I was a little off on that third one. And, and uh, the ACSS told me the big circle, it's instinctive. You just do it right away, guys. I don't know how to read all this. I'm sure I'm new to optics, I'm pretty new to <laughs> appendix. Um, so. I don't know what that, all that means. Maybe active self-protection can uh, help me out here. Mantis X, get in touch. Let me know what's going on. I want to thank Mantis X. And uh, I don't know what that all means, but I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> okay, guys, obviously that was slow deliberate. So it breaks it down in grip, pull, horizontal, target, shot. And uh, overall times, obviously it was really slow. 2.32, 209, 201. Obviously, I'm just going slow, getting used to things. Uh, but it breaks all of it down. It goes a little bit to the right, so maybe I'm hooking or that's recoil right as the shot breaks at the end there. I'm not too positive, but the shots were up seven yards. I got three that were in the spine or two in the spine and one in the heart. Either way, that's good to go. All right, next, hostage taker at about five yards. It's awesome target, target time line. Now we're going to go. Uh, the recoil is uh, really not bad, guys. If you have any recoil problems because it's light, easy to carry thin pistol, um, the, the light on the forehand seems to help. And, you know, this is probably the ultimate for CCW people and law enforcement and everybody. This ultimate package, guys, this is the ultimate package. The site, I'm going to show you advanced stuff. I'm rolling some footage. I, I, he let me borrow it last night to get used to it. Room entries and all that. Let's go with the hostage take. I'll go from low ready at first and see. If, I hope I don't kill this girl. Okay, here we go. Let it go, man. Let it go. Boom, right in the T box. All right, let's go on the Mantis X. Hostage taker, uh, beginner. Let's see if I can do it from the draw in four seconds. I would eventually want this at point three, at three seconds, but let's just start beginner and see if I can do it. Hostage taker, beginner, Mantis X. Let's test that out. And I'll use the light, I haven't used the light yet. Here we go. Let it go, dude. Let it go, man. Don't do it! Let's check. All right, that was a tiny bit low on the mustache, but he's down, and hopefully she's safe. I mean, that's not SWAT standards. Uh, so I'll have to bring it up a bit. Let her go, dude. Let her go! Uh-oh. I was a little fishy that time. All right, Mantis X is telling me my average time was 2.16 seconds, so it's a lot faster than... I had uh, planned, perfect, not so perfect, and yeah, but this is really small. It's a fist size head. Look at my big old head. Okay, so not bad for my first time trying this out. All right, guys, now we're going to test some cool advantage to the ACSS that no one's talking about. They will really be a huge thing for law enforcement and military that people haven't figured out yet. I'm going to test the theory here. Yeah, we'll start using the light a little bit. Okay, I got a bad guy in body armor. Let's see where that bullet went. Well, looky, looky. How did I use the Chevron? The Chevron, we've talked about shooting at distance, setting it at 25 yards. We haven't talked about what all the other channels did. 50, uh, a little below, and 100 yards at the very bottom in 9 millimeter. Uh, he also gives it in 45, a little bit closer. Okay, right in the perfect tee box, shutting down a hostage, shutting down a bad guy in body armor, doing a room entry right away. HRT, dev crew, seals. I'm gonna tell you even more stuff why this is really awesome on the move, okay? This optic, this gun, this package is gonna go. So what did I do? I put the top of the Chevron here and the bottom of the Chevron five, seven yards. Guess what? You 
put it right there and the bottom of the chevron right across the eyebrows gives you a perfect shot in the t-box okay guys i'll probably make a whole other video of why this reticle works so perfect if you're doing movement if you're doing real stuff i'll make a whole entirely other video people aren't talking about all the awesomeness that it does including for room entries tactical teams special forces I've always liked the car position. You bring that elbow in, recoil, modified car, you do more sideways. Instead of sweeping a big area left to right, this is a much shorter, quicker distance. Okay, so if you're doing a dynamic entry, you're here. And what, at, and the car position, you see the big ring, it'll go around someone's chest depending on distance. Center mass with the chevron in the middle, you'll have your little bit of 1.7 inch approximately offset. But I'm scanning, here we go. Okay, I made a room entry. I'm looking for the bad guy. Let's check the target. I'm brand new to optics. Look at that. While moving, transitioning, searching, especially hallways, advancing, retreating, one-handed, upside down, knock down your back, shots. It does so much more. I'll make a separate video. Guys, I, I'll roll in some footage. But look at all that. All T-Box and two right in the eyeball. That's perfect. So it's really huge because you do see, if you do your good draw at extension, pushed out, you don't see the big wide. But from a car position or up close one-handed or whatever, you see it and it's, Boom, it's a big, it's a ring. You see the big ring and you see the chevron. So what that does is it gets you on target instantly, threat focused, really threat focused, better than other optics. Three, five, seven drill, three bad guys, three yards, five yards, seven yards. Total time, 5.55, one and a half to first shot. 0.69, not sure if that's really true, because the transition time really fast, 21 to over here. Got two center mass, but look how often one goes in the arm. So you need good penetration. 21.69, transition. Third guy, bad guy at seven yards, not as good on him. Center mass, one a little high in the lip. And then the third one up too high in the head, so a little high in those two. Pobbled my draw bad, 6.56 total. I did 10 shots that time, I made up an extra head shot. 6.56 total, but look at that bad 1.91. I bobbled the draw, it's not my best shoot. And I was uh, with the hands up surrenders position and with the different holster, the G17 uh, oath holster. But two of these four were there. Headshot was here, again, they're different heights. 6.56 total, 10 shots on the 357 drill. One in the arm, see how often it happens, guys. You need penetration. One in the uh, right testicle. My first headshot coming back, I felt that it wasn't good enough to put her down. And I was right. It was way up there, and then I brought one down there. So 6.56. Let's check room entry stuff, car position now, with light on, and pretending that, you know, I, I see the uh, deadly threats. One good, one decent, good. One of these was good, one of those was bad, good. I don't know which of those it was, but still pretty much center mass and a good headshot, one of those. Let's run it, baby. Hopefully the hits are good. Got to get used to over swinging, but I think this technique will be really good for certain people. Uh, but it's faster. It's faster, so that, but you might over swing compared to a normal extension. 
Down tango, down tango. Hopefully that shows you what you can do with a little bit of movement. I'm limited here. It's awesome that I've been able to do this. All the headshots are perfect though. The ACSS is making headshots really, really absolutely easy on her as I thought. I had overswung earlier. Uh, these are pretty good, but these two I did overswing a bit, but still no misses. And this guy's dead right there as well. Okay, look at all these headshots. Upper thoracic, there you go. UX Delta Gen 2L, ACSS Optic, good stuff. A little more real world, no misses, great headshots. Upper thoracic, I mean, I'm not happy about that, but in movement, it shows you what this optic can do. I am brand new to an optic. Those couple bad ones there, these three were earlier, so everything I did this last run was all head, T-box, chest, and this guy's dead right there as well. So no misses, even with a little bit of movement and transitions, shows you what you can do. Okay, seven yards, hollow point function test, Dutch buffet, have a Dutch buffet. There we go. The, the, I'm a brand new guy, and it stayed in the window the whole time. Just rose up uh, the apex to there, the chevron. I never lost sight of the chevron. Let's see your hits. The ones circled, the six or seven circled, were from earlier. I'll take that. Nine out of ten hits in the about six and a half inches box, center mass, upper thoracic, and one breaking line. So really ten out of ten if you want to really be technical with different 124 plus P's, 115 normal, a 115 ball to start at seven yards with the optic. Might be an optics guy now. My friend's pistol. I want to thank him. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone that supported. I want you to thumbs up. I want you to share. I want you to subscribe. I think that the uh, this is the ultimate package. Okay, P10 magazines, extensions. You got the ACSS. Please share, subscribe if you can. Support me on Patreon. The Gen 2 A-Rex Delta is amazing. I beat all the big channels. Thank you very much. That earns me a subscription. Help me out. Get down there in the comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks, everybody. And guys, I forgot. I got a plug. I got a plug. I got targets online. These are hard card stock. So if you're really into getting your skills down, guys, Targets Online, hard card stock. You can do up close CQB stuff. If you're out in the inclement weather, a lot of law enforcement agencies use these. You've seen them in my other videos, but he sent me a new package. Today, we'll see what I can do with the ACSS reticle and the Delta L Gen 2 on a bodied armored bad guy. We'll get to some hostage taker stuff using the Mantis X10 to see if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And guys, remember, I'm brand new to optics, but that's what the ACS is good for. And there's a lot of advantage stuff that poor beautiful girl's taking hostage. Cops pulling up, doing a stop. So guys, uh, targetsonline.com for that.